There is a text-to-speech feature within uh, CapCut uh, that is very, very nifty. I've used it a couple times. I actually used it on one of my videos to uh, have complete narration uh, from the AI uh, feature in there, and it's pretty sick. It's a pretty, pretty awesome uh, thing, so I want to show you guys that and how to do that. Um, it's pretty nifty. Uh, I've used it a couple times in various different videos. I have one video here on my channel, like I said, that was completely narrated. Uh, by the computer obviously you can tell uh, when you use it that it is a uh, you know it's not a real person it's it's a you know a robot essentially but it works very well and it pronounces very well and I I was really impressed by it once again it's available on the free feature so I'll show you guys how to use it but within your project here once you kind of get an idea of, of what your project's going to be and where you want it to be narrated um, the only kind of frustrating part about this is you have to type out what you is going to be said. I mean, it's an understandable process, but um, in the top left hand corner of your uh, editing dashboard, uh, the icon that says text, you're going to click that. And there's just a default text option here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and add that into the project. So now I've got this default text option and I'll expand that a little bit. And so I'll just type something in there. Um, Generic, I'll just say uh, taking hikes is very relaxing um, to me. We'll say it like that. Okay, so now I've got my text typed in there. Um, and so you can you can type out a much, much longer. When I did the narration piece of this, uh, the text box has a limit to how much text you can actually get in there. So if you are gonna narrate your entire video, you'll have to mess around with that. It's um, It does kind of become a little bit frustrating of a process, but given the fact that this is a free feature and it works so well, I was very, very impressed with it. So once I got my text typed out of what I wanna narrate, uh, like I said, if there's even more, you're going to have to do this two separate times and do another, drag another default text box down there and type it out again. Uh, on this top side, on the right hand side here, where I type this text, uh, the reason why I'm seeing this is because I have the text highlighted. If I unhighlight the text, it goes away. But um, I have the text box highlighted, so I'm seeing the editing options here. At the very top, there's an option icon that says text to speech. If I click that, that will give me the options and the voices. Um, excuse me, that, that'll give me the options and the voices that I can use in order to um, uh, have the narration. And there's a bunch of different ones. Obviously, there's pro version ones. So you have like a documentary version. You can still hear it if you want to pay for the pro version. But essentially, you just click one. And then you, uh, in the, once you select the one that you want, it gives you a sample when you click it. On the bottom right-hand side of this little editing dashboard, there's a button that says Start Reading. So you click Start Reading. And boom. There you go. You now have your text to speech. It automatically adds it into your project underneath your video file as a audio section there and expand that a little bit. And there is your text to speech option right in there. You can also delete this text here. You don't need that anymore. Boom. And now you have your narration text to speech there and you can click on it. And on the right hand side here, you can adjust the volume. You can do a fade in, a fade out. You can do all these other things here that you want to do. You can even do a voice changer to it. Uh, then it gets a little funky, but that is how you use uh, the text to speech option, the narration option within CapCut. Really, really awesome. And I hope that helps you out. If this video did help you out, please leave, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel. Let me know if you guys have any other questions in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys on the next one.